The main water purification stations in Taipei metropolitan area, including Changxing, Gongguan, and Jitan, primarily source their water from the tributaries of Xindian River, namely Nanshe River and Baishe River. Initially, in 1909, a water intake point was established downstream of Xindian River to supply the Taipei Headwater Point Slow Sand Filtration Plant. In 1945, another water intake point was set up upstream near the old intake point of Xindian River, supplying water to both the Taipei Headwater Point Slow Sand Filtration Plant and the Chanchu Mountain Water Purification Station. In 1965, a sluice gate was installed at Sukang Weir, diverting some of the raw water through canals and tunnels for power generation at the Tsukung hydropower plant. The overflow water from Tsukung Weir was then supplied to the Changxing and Gongguan water purification stations. To increase and stabilize the water supply for these two stations, the Qingtan Weir was constructed and completed in 1976. The tailwater from the Tsukung hydropower plant, after being dammed by Qingtan Weir, was supplied to the Changxing and Gongguan water purification stations. Between the 1970s and 1980s, the population of the greater Taipei metropolitan area surged, leading to an urgent need for increased domestic and industrial water supply. As symbols of urban civilization, public water supplies had to be carefully planned for the long term. Since Changxing and Gongguan water purification stations had no space for expansion, and the overflow from Tsukang Weir was still sufficient, it was decided to build the Jitan Dam upstream of Qingtan Weir. A large-scale Jitan water purification station was constructed nearby, with water from the Jitan Dam being delivered through the first raw water diversion tunnel. Additionally, to ensure a sufficient and clean raw water supply, water was gradually sourced further upstream. To guarantee an uninterrupted water supply for the Taipei metropolitan area, a large reservoir was built on Baishe River to regulate Taipei's water source. This reservoir, completed in 1987, is the internationally renowned Feisui Reservoir. In 2009, Sukung Weir was used as a headwater, with water being diverted through the aqueduct of Taiwan Power Company's Sukung Hydropower Plant. The second raw water diversion work was set up, supplying raw water to the Jitan water purification station through the second raw water diversion pipe. To address the issue of turbid raw water, the Feisui Raw Water Supply Tunnel Project was initiated in 2015, with the Feisui Raw Water Pipe crossing Jitan Mountain to near Tsukung Weir, sharing the aqueduct of Taiwan Power Company's Tsukung Hydropower Plant, and diverting water to the second raw water diversion work which then flows to the Jitan water purification station through the second raw water diversion pipe. Located near the confluence of Huangku River and Xindian River, construction of the Jitan Dam began in 1973 and was completed in 1978. The catchment area is 679.8 square kilometers, with an effective capacity of 1.7 million cubic meters. The Jitan Dam is a gate-controlled overflow weir, with seven arched sluice gates controlling and raising the water level. The floodgate heights are 10 meters and 12.5 meters, respectively. There are two intake gates at Jitan Dam water intake point, each 4 meters wide and 3.7 meters high. The first raw water diversion tunnel, with a design capacity of 2.7 million cubic meters per day, directly supplies raw water to the Jitan water purification station, providing an average of up to 2.3 million cubic meters of raw water daily. The Jitan water purification station, located downstream of Jitan Dam and upstream of Qingtan Weir, is surrounded by Xindian River on three sides and covers an area of 43 hectares. Thanks to the large volume of raw water directly supplied by Jitan Dam daily, the Jitan Water Purification Station provides over 70% of the domestic water for the Taipei metropolitan area, making it the largest water purification station in Taiwan. Concurrent with the construction of the Jitan Water Purification Station, there was active planning for a large-scale regulating reservoir. Due to the growing industrial and commercial development in the Taipei metropolitan area and the increasing demand for water by the public, there were often water shortages during dry periods. 
Therefore, the construction of a large reservoir was proposed to meet the water needs of the Taipei metropolitan area. Due to the good geological conditions at the Feisui Dam site, coupled with the abundant water flow of the Beisha River, it was suitable for dam construction and water storage. Therefore, the Feisui Reservoir was built in the Feisui Valley of the Beisha River. At that time, Premier Sun Yun Su Yin decided to entrust the Feisui Reservoir project to Taiwan Power Company, with the design and supervision by Sinotech Engineering Consultants and the construction by the Retsair Engineering Agency. It was the first large arch dam designed and constructed entirely by the capabilities of the nation's own people. In the history of our country's hydraulic engineering, it is considered a major project of epoch-making significance. Construction of the Feisui Reservoir began in 1979 and was completed and operational in 1987. It is primarily a public water supply reservoir with additional benefits of power generation. The Feisui Reservoir catchment area covers Pinglin, Shuangxi, Shiding, and Xindian districts in New Taipei City, with a total area of 303 square kilometers, about 30 kilometers from Taipei City Center. Its total capacity is approximately 406 million cubic meters, making it the second largest reservoir in Taiwan. The facilities of Feisui Reservoir include the main dam, spillway, plunge pool, auxiliary dam, Feisui hydropower plant, and stilling basin. The main dam is a tricore, bidirectional curved variable thickness concrete arch dam, constructed layer by layer using cable cranes. The dam is 122.5 meters high, with a volume of 703,675 cubic meters. The length of the dam crest is 510 meters, its width is 7 meters, and it stands at an elevation of 172.5 meters. There are eight spillways on the dam crest, controlled by arched sluice gates, three scour sluices in the center of the dam body, and additional tunnel spillway at the base of the adjacent mountain, with a total discharge capacity of 9,870 cubic meters per second. The Jitan Water Purification Station currently has six water purification facilities, completed in phases as needed and funded. The first facility was completed in 1984, the second in 1988, the third in 1991, and the fourth in 1995, each with a daily water purification capacity of 500,000 cubic meters. The fifth facility was completed in 2004, increasing the daily water purification capacity by 700,000 cubic meters, bringing the total processing capacity of the Jitan Water Purification Station to 2.7 million cubic meters per day. In 2005, to ensure an ample water supply for Taipei metropolitan area, construction of the sixth water purification facility began. It was completed in 2013, with a daily water purification capacity of 700,000 cubic meters, increasing the total processing capacity of the Jitan Water Purification Station to 3.4 million cubic meters per day. In 2009, a second raw water diversion pipe was added, sourcing water from Tsukung were through the Taiwan Power Company's aqueduct, with a second raw water diversion work constructed to supply raw water to the Jitan Water Purification Station. Due to the single headwater for the Jitan Water Purification Station and extreme weather conditions, all three water intake points of the Xindian River were located downstream of the confluence of the Nansha and Beisha River. Heavy rains caused turbidity in the Nansha River, leading to a significant burden on the water purification process. A notable example was during the 2015 Typhoon Saddler, when heavy rains brought mud and silt, causing the turbidity of the raw water in the Nansha River to soar beyond the purification capacity of the water purification station, resulting in poor water quality. To improve the stability of the raw water intake for the Jitan Water Purification Station, the Feisui Raw Water Supply Tunnel Project was actively promoted in 2015. A new stepped weir and water intake point were added about 400 meters upstream of the Feisui No. 2 bridge on the Beisha River to reduce the load of purifying raw water at the purification station. The Jitan Water Purification Station includes two raw water tunnels, 
with the first and second raw water tunnel coming from the Jiton Dam and Faisui Reservoir, respectively. It also has two raw water grid discharge overflow wells, two raw water culverts, two water distribution wells, raw water pipe culverts, a raw water meter room, six flash mixers, six coagulation basins, six sedimentation tanks, six rapid sand filters, six clear water reservoirs, and a material storage area. Additionally, it has two clear water junction wells, two clear water transmission main pipeline, a wastewater basin, wastewater and sludge pumping stations, sludge sedimentation pool, a retention basin pumping station, 12 sludge thickeners, a recycling pool, a sludge dewatering machine room, two operation centers, three mechanical rooms, an operation room, an elevated water tower, a chemical dosing building, an operation control center building, a substation and diesel generator room, a water quality control center, a guard room, a main gate, dikes, and other facilities. Initially, raw water enters through two raw water diversion tunnels into the raw water grid discharge overflow wells for chemical treatment. Then, through the raw water culverts, the raw water is led into the distribution wells, distributing the water to the flash mixers of each water purification facility. Here, flash mixing operations produce flock particles in the raw water, which then enter the coagulation basins. Through stirring by the flocculators, smaller flocks combine into larger and heavier flocks. These then proceed to the sedimentation tanks for settling, separating larger impurities. Afterward, the water passes through the rapid sand filters, filtering out fine impurities in microorganisms, and flows into the clear water reservoirs. Through the clear water junction wells, the clear water is delivered via two clear water transmission main pipeline to various regional distribution reservoirs and booster stations, and then distributed to Taipei City, Xindian, Zhenghe, Yonghe, Sancheng, and seven villages of Shiji District. Additionally, it connects to the Taiwan Water Corporation's supply system, supporting water supply to Banqiao, Xinjuang, Luzhou, Wugu, Bali, Tamsui, Sanji, and Xinqing areas, responsible for supplying over 70% of the water for the Taipei metropolitan area. The Jitan Water Purification Station transports sludge from the sedimentation tanks to the sludge treatment station. After processing through the equalization tank, flash mixer, and sludge thickener, the supernatant is discharged into the outfall basin and expelled through the outfall. The concentrated sludge is then treated through a conditioner and dewatering to form sludge cakes, which are further processed into red bricks, cement additives, etc. The filtrate is stored in a detention tank and recycled back to the equalization tank for reprocessing. In addition to actively seeking new water sources and building new water purification stations, the Taipei water supply system has continuously improved its existing plants. In 2003, sludge treatment equipment was added to the Gongguan Water Purification Station. In 2015, the horizontal east and west side water purification equipment of the Changqing Water Purification Station was updated, and in 2020, the first water purification equipment of the Jitan Water Purification Station was updated, ensuring stable and safe water supply for 6 million people in the Taipei metropolitan area. Water is essential for human survival, and tap water is a symbol of human civilization. The Xindian River, the mother river of Taipei, has protected the people of the Taipei metropolitan area for over a hundred years. The Taipei water supply system has grown from supplying water to 120,000 people in 1909 to 6 million people today, a 50-fold increase in the water-consuming population. To supply sufficient and clean water to the Taipei metropolitan area, public water supply experts and engineers have spared no effort, developing water sources from the lower to the upper reaches of the Xindian River, constructing weirs and reservoirs, and expanding the scale of water purification stations. They have successfully created the largest water purification station in Taiwan, making Taiwan's public water supply prominent in Asia. Today, as we enjoy clean tap water and look forward to a secure water supply until 2030, we should remember the source of our water and be grateful for the selfless dedication and efforts of our predecessors.